Hello, and welcome to this lab where we'll be exploring how to linearize data using algebra. So in a prior lab, you learned how to fit data with a line in such a way that incorporated uncertainties in both the horizontal and the vertical directions simultaneously, which is something you probably hadn't done before. The data you had collected, however, was already linear. You didn't have to do anything to, to make it align. It, it already was aligned. And while many relationships in nature are linear, many others are not. In this particular lab, we will be exploring a particular nonlinear relationship that you've seen in class. The relationship between the image distance I, the object distance O, and the focal length of a lens F. 1 over I, 1 over O equals 1 over F. In particular, we'll be looking at the focal length of something that most of you have everyday experience with, your glasses. We will be measuring the focal length of your glasses. Now, if you don't happen to wear glasses, borrow a friend or family members. I, I promise no harm will come to them in the course of this experiment. And failing that, just run up to the supermarket or the pharmacy or whatever and get a, a $4 pair of cheap reading glasses and those will work uh, just fine. Along the way, we're gonna continue to build on and use the topics that we've explored in, in prior labs, geometric mean regressions and Monte Carlo error propagation. We'll also develop some new important skills critical to science. For example, building a well-organized spreadsheet that you can then reuse. So one of the things that we're gonna do in this lab is take our results at the end, we know what the prescription of our glasses is, take our results, compare to what the prescription is, think about our uncertainties, think about how we might improve our procedure and, and repeat the experiment. The data collection itself doesn't take that long. However, we want the analysis to be automated and the same from one run of the experiment to another. And so we're going to build a spreadsheet that you can reuse. Now, some of you have already seen that having well organized spreadsheets is important. You pr in some of previous labs, that's become an issue for some of you. In this lab, we're going to show you how to build a well organized spreadsheet that you can reuse just enter the new numbers from the second run of the experiment and basically all the analysis will take care of itself. Another thing we're gonna explore in this lab is thinking about how do you know when you've done enough trials? So we know that multiple trials of an experiment are important. How do you know how many trials is enough? That's one of the other topics we're going to explore in this lab. And so in short, we're gonna look at building an organized spreadsheet, refining our procedure using our understanding of our uncertainties and thinking about how many trials are enough, all at the same time building on the skills we've already developed. So let's go ahead and get started.